Hi curl friends, Naturally Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Juneteenth! I know by the time this video is uploaded, Juneteenth will have already passed, but today that I'm filming is Juneteenth. So happy Juneteenth to all my beautiful melanated people of African descent, yes! It's no secret that I don't upload my videos the same day that I film them. Except for curlbox videos, those usually go up the same day that I, well, curlbox unboxing videos, those usually go up the same day that I film them. Speaking of curlbox, that's what this video is about. This video is about me using some of the products from the June curlbox. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I will leave that in the cards up above as well as the description box down below. So this month, all of the products came from ORS hair repair line and what I'm basically gonna do is just a twist out with the coconut oil and boab anti-breakage conditioning cream when I was unboxing this curl box I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a wash and go with this cream or to do a twist out now this cream does not seem to have a lot of hold so if I was going to do a wash and go it would be like a big like fluffy wash and go similar to the one that i did last week if you haven't seen that video i will also link that in the cards up above after i do my hair i'm going to a black lives matter protest so i'm just thinking okay it's gonna be hot i'm gonna be outside marching and if i have all of that hair going down my neck i'm just gonna be sweating up a storm so let me opt to put some twists in my hair. In a few days, I'll take them out and it'll be super cute. All right, y'all know the deal. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I love to go in on wet hair, especially if it's a product that I've never used before and I've never used this conditioning cream before. Is it a conditioning cream? Yes, I've never used this cream before. This smells so good though. Mm, it's like a... I really smell the coconut in there. It's a lightweight, creamy consistency. Mm, medium, medium. It's not really lightweight. It's not necessarily like a curl milk. It's not as thin as that, but it's not like a thick butter. It feels very nice on my hair. It feels moisturizing. It's definitely not giving me hold, so I'm glad that I'm not gonna wash and go with this, even though I could have just put a gel on top of that. I try and a lot of times I fail but I try to get two even sections when I split my twists when I split my hair for my twists but it does not always happen but you know what that's life things don't always come out the way that you plan but you keep it pushing so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do and so when you get to the end because as you see this side is a lot longer than this side all I'm gonna do is smooth it down and then twist it around my finger. And that secures it with a little curl at the end. And that's my first twist. I'm starting close to the scalp, as close as I can. And I'm twisting tight. In previous videos, I've said, when you get towards the end, if one side is longer than the other, don't borrow and just you know twist it around as is. But I also know that there are some people who say, no, you can borrow still, and you just have to be more careful when it comes time to take out your twist. You just have to be more intentional about the way that you're doing it so you don't create extra frizz. So yes, it is possible to borrow with your twist or your braids or whatever and still have a cute twist out or braid out at the end. So these are my first few twists. I'm just going to keep twisting and I will be back when the twists are all in. I almost forgot to mention, I also tried out the um, shampoo and deep conditioner from the ORS Hair Rescue line. And I'm definitely feeling that shampoo. Like it's a thick moisturizing shampoo that still clarifies for sure because I was able to start to like finger detangle my hair with just the shampoo and it lathered up real nice the way I like and I'm a fan of that um hair mask too that deep conditioner it was thick it was creamy my hair felt really soft afterwards so 
I have no complaints about either of those products. We did not receive a conditioner, so I just detangled with the deep conditioner. And actually, I think that they don't have a conditioner in that line because the deep conditioner says it's either a pre-poo or a post-poo. I don't really like pre-poo, so I did it after I shampooed my hair. And so the directions just said after shampooing, you know, going with that. So that's what I did. How's everybody feeling like states are opening back up? Some states just said, look, whatever, we just going full on open up or you know whatever like i've said before i'm from new york so in new york we're doing i think it's like a four stage reopening so right now and it's a regional thing it's not like the whole state of new york is all on the same phase because there are parts of new york that are upstate that look like rural you know middle america and then you also have places that are downstate like I live in the suburbs and like an hour from me is the city upstate New York isn't really affected in the same way as downstate so that's why the reopening has to be different where I live we are about to go into phase three I'm really really excited about that because the nail salons are opening back up and I already have my appointment I am not playing my nails look horrible my eyebrows look horrible it's just ugh. I'm sorry, I don't know if y'all can hear this in the background, but the landscapers in my development are doing, you know, work outside and which I'm glad because they do a phenomenal job. They always have it looking nice outside, but I'm trying to film right now, y'all. It's not their fault though. I know that there are some states that are reopening differently than New York is, so let me know down but let me know down below in the comments how your state is reopening. If your state is reopened, but you're like, okay, nah, but I'm not going back outside yet. You know, let me know how you feel about it. Let me know how things are going in your states. Like I heard some states that reopened are seeing an increase in the cases. That scares me because it's like, okay, stuff is reopening. So some people are going to have to go back to work because they can't stay on unemployment if their job is saying they can come back. And if the cases are getting worse, they're putting themselves at a risk and also everyone else at a higher risk because it's more people out and about and potentially spreading the virus. But then I also understand people are getting cabin fever and you know, people do need to make money. Unemployment doesn't cover everything. And I also understand that, you know, it's about, it's basically summer. I think it'll officially be summer on like the 21st or the 22nd or whatever, but it's basically summer. So people are like, all right, it's nice out. Like I need to get out of this house. I want to enjoy the summer. I get that. Summer is my favorite season too, but it's just scary. So like, yeah, I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm going to get my eyebrows done, but I'm still have my mask on hand sanitizer on deck and you know social distancing so since today is juneteenth i want to mention how i know that there are a lot more people celebrating juneteenth this year and that's great that is phenomenal i just really hope that those of us who have been celebrating for years now like i have i just hope that we give grace to the people who are now you know coming around to it and now deciding that they want to also celebrate Juneteenth and whichever way that they choose to. To be honest, I was one of those like, really y'all? So really, now y'all wanna protest? Now y'all wanna celebrate Juneteenth? Like we been doing this, like we been pro-black, now y'all wanna be down? But then I had to ask myself, do I want to be right or do I want progress? And without a doubt, I want progress. So if you are somebody who is just now deciding that you want to celebrate Juneteenth, great. If you are somebody who is honestly just hearing Juneteenth right now as I'm talking to you, that's fine too. Everybody's path is different. Everybody's journey is different. People will have their eye-opening experiences at different times. So, okay, you have your eye-opening experience. 
now that your eyes are open do something about it educate yourself and figure out ways that you can help and progress the movement in your own way i also understand that not everybody is going to protest that's not everybody's lane that and that's fine you don't have to protest some people they feel like okay you know what we need to do we need to attack this politically we need to make sure as many of us are registered to vote so we can make sure that our people are getting out to vote that they are registered and they are getting out to vote because yes registration is definitely a part of it but if you register a whole bunch of people and they have no way of getting to this polling place that's a problem or if you live in a state where they like to trample over the vra the voting rights act then that could be a problem if they're closing down a lot of the polling places in the black communities or you could be someone who feels like okay no what we need to do is we need to attack this economically with resources so we need to buy black we need to bank black we need to make sure that we are putting our resources in places and with people who will progress our people that's fine too you might be an artist who feels like okay i don't really know what to do but i know i'm creative so maybe you create music maybe you create clothing maybe you create art and that way you are expressing and progressing the movement and that's good too there is a place for everybody in this and you just find your lane and you go because quite frankly we need all of that we need all of it as long as our end goal is still the same the progression of our people i'm all for it you don't have to fight oppression and systematic racism and white supremacy the same exact way that i do but your fight and my fight and everyone else's fight is how we get through this so i'm gonna end my rant i just want to finish with take care of yourselves Pay attention to your mental health because that is very, very important, especially in times like now. Understand that it is traumatic. It is traumatic to see black bodies lying dead in the street. It is traumatic to see this happen over and over again. So please take care of yourself. Please do not get too inundated with everything that's going on and all the images and videos. And it's okay if you feel like it's too much to watch a video or too much to go on social media right now or whatever that's fine that is understandable you don't have to keep drilling those same images in your mind so even if you just take a break from everything that's going on and do something that brings you joy whether that's reading a book watching one of your favorite tv shows listening to music doing your hair whatever do something to take care of yourself also take care of each other look out for each other I wish that we could go back to a time where it didn't matter who that black girl over there is or that black boy over there. That's my sister. That's my brother. That like, I wish we could get back to that where we just have a black code where we look out for each other. We make sure each other is good. So especially in times like this, where black bodies are being lynched, hanging like strange fruit from trees all over the country in 2020, we need to look out for each other. I'm gonna stop my rant. I have to go get ready for this protest and I will be back when it's time to unravel my hair. All right, so the twists are all out and these are my finished results. My hair feels super, super soft and moisturized. I used the oil that came in my curl box. It was the ORS Hair Repair Coconut Oil and Boab Vital Oil. I used this to take down and separate my twists. I also used this to like grease my mom's scalp the other day too. And I really enjoyed this oil. It smells so good. That's about it for this curl box review video. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.